Hello, BZ Power. This is reporter Chocolate Frogs here with a set review. Well, maybe 16 set reviews. As you can see, LEGO has sent us a full set of the Series 15 minifigures, so I can give you my opinions on these. And if you want to win a set for yourself, keep listening to the end of the video and we'll tell you how you can win some for you too. Uh, so these, uh, it's number 71011. Um, of course, you see these packages on the toy store shelves. You're probably no stranger to these by now. There's been 17 or 18 different series of these with a couple tie-ins as well. Uh, they have a variety of pieces in them, depending on if they're holding something or if um, hat or no hat, tail, stuff like that. Uh, and of course they all come with a base. Uh, so we'll open, uh, open these up and show you all off. Uh, they usually retail for about uh, $4 if you're lucky. Um, I think sometimes there might be some sales. Look what we got here. So this is uh, the shark guy. So that's what you get. You get this uh, little piece of paper telling you how to build some of them and um, what all you can get. Then you uh, you get the torso and the legs and the head and probably a hat, maybe something to hold, although he's going to have a hard time doing that here. Um, and it's as simple as that. You all know what these are. Uh, so we, uh, without further ado, um, Let's review these. Uh, also check us out on BZ Power for the full text review for individual photos of all 16 figs. And I'll put them in uh, some silly uh, situations as well, teaming up with some other mini figs we all know and love. Uh, so, let's open these up, see what they look like. Ta-da! All 16 collectible mini figures of Series 15. Ah. Uh, Lots of different parts, as you can see, colors, things to hold, things to wear, uh, and then, of course, they're all random in the bags. Although you can feel them, and uh, I'll point out a couple of cool things to feel for uh, if you want that one specific thing. So, right up front here, we have a Clumsy Guy. Uh, he's got some crutches, although holding them like that isn't really going to do him much good, is it? But uh, good on Lego for uh, giving us some some disabled people that need some help. Uh, is there a hospital? There's probably a hospital out there. Um, so you can you can populate your Lego hospital uh, or have them walking down the street, what have you. Um, he's got a banana torso, banana banana shirt, uh, similar to what we've seen in the uh, the Gorilla Grodd superhero set. Nothing on the back, although you can see that his uh, cast leg is uh, molded, um, two, two color molded, as well as just being printed on. Uh, but then we have some autographs uh, printed onto his cast, as you do when your friends get injured. He's got just a bandage and a black eye right there. Uh, he's got his head wrapped up. This guy, this guy has uh, been in a serious accident. Starting to feel sorry for him with that worried look on his face and everything. Um, but yeah, that that's him. Uh, you'd probably want to feel for the crutches there uh, when you're feeling him out. Next we have Ballerina. There we go. She has a tutu, which uh, is not uh, fabric or anything. It's an actual plastic molded piece. Slips right onto the legs there. There we go. She is ready to do some bar work. Uh, printed legs, printed torso, uh, printed hair in a bun, of course. So she looks great. I'm surprised it's taken Lego this long to make one of these. Uh, you'd probably want to feel for the tutu uh, out of everything. Aha, and then the shark guy. He is on everyone's wanted list, uh, so everyone's on the lookout for him. He, of course, has the uh, the shark costume head there. Uh, oh, and he's got two faces. He's got one uh, one happy, ready to dance face, and then he's got like a uh oh, what's going on face. Uh, a little sweat there too, maybe because it's hot in the costume. Uh, he's pretty silly. And the printing, of course, you'd want to feel for the 
shark fin arms there. Uh, every other minifig here is going to feel like a regular minifig torso, except for him. So yeah, he's pretty funny. All right, we have next the uh, Golden Warrior. There we go. It looks like he's a messenger from the gods. Uh, some nice gold uh, torso and leg design there. Haven't seen this since, uh, what, one of the Atlantis sets, I believe. Uh, it's got some nice armor right there. Uh, and the helmet, which I feel would work really well for Thor if they made it silver. Hmm, have to get on that. Uh, the wings clip on to the back, just like uh, in Chima. Of course, we get the wings in gold. I believe that's a first. And let's take a look at his torso. We have the uh, printed muscle armor torso there. Uh, nothing on the back, though. Uh, that's pretty spiffy. You'd want to feel out for the armor, although make sure it doesn't look you don't feel for the uh, the mech armor there. And then the wings are definitely going to give him away. Um, those are pretty jagged right there. Pretty distinguished. Uh, Alright. Next up, we have the mech. Not an evil mech, not a good guy mech uh, like we've had in the past. Just just another mech uh, using the, uh, the mech helmet again. Uh, we got one of the Ninjago swords. Uh, some of that cool armor, and then some of the wings that clip onto the back. Notice how the wings are detailed on there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the head here is just uh, this little wavy line like that. And then underneath the torso we have this really cool printing. That's going to look super cool for anything you do. Uh, nothing on the back though. So, if you're feeling out this guy, uh, again, feel for the armor, but watch out for the, uh, the warrior's armor. Uh, feel for the sword to confirm it, or the smaller wings. That's pretty much what you want to look for. It's also got these really cool blue hands. Haven't seen those hands in blue yet like that. That's neat. Next up, we have a janitor. Aha, uh -huh. uh, every, uh, I'm sure Lego, your brick bank needs one of these, or your school, or your hospital with the crutch guy. So we got a janitor here. He's uh, just doing his job. He's got the mustache, he's got the mop, all the usual. And so the mop is a new piece. That's pretty cool. Yeah, basic stuff like that. I've actually seen online someone... Uh, did that. There we go. Ah, we make mop aliens or something. That's pretty funny. So that's the mop guy. You'd want to feel for the mop, feel for the long bar, make sure it's the longer one because a couple other figures have those as uh, the short ones. Uh, and then maybe feel for the hat if you're uh, feeling so bold. Here we have the farmer and the farmer comes with a pig. So that's really cool. Don't get, uh, we've been getting some animals lately. That's pretty neat. Uh, farmer in his farmer outfit, uh, double molded legs. Uh, looks like a new hat. Maybe that was on the scarecrow or something. It's got a hole up top so you can put something up there. And then the pitchfork. So that's pretty cool for uh, all your Lego farming needs. Uh, probably want to feel for the pig, although make sure you don't feel for the skunk. I'll show him off next. Uh, feel for the pitchfork with the extra wide uh, bar and then the hat too if you want Here we have the uh, animal lady she has a net she has a skunk uh, So she's ready to uh, get down to business protecting your neighborhood for uh, for animal control um, This is a new mold. It's really clever really cool uh, animal there um, and the net's pretty neat. Catch some butterflies in there or something. It's a little too big, too little too small for the skunk here. <laughs> um, she's got some nice hair. She's got a, uh, a worried look on the back, like she uh, probably just got sprayed with the skunk smell. So uh, once again, clever Lego for uh, putting some humor into the sets like that. There we go. 
you'd probably want to feel for the skunk and the net. Next up is our space guy. Look at that. He is ready to go. He's, uh, he's on a space mission with his spacesuit and his gold visor and his air tank slash jetpack, depending on if you're me when I was five, because he doesn't want a jetpack. And then he's got a classic space flag. All right. Lego's put in some classic space references before with their collectible minifigures. A little nice little callback to uh, one of our favorite classic themes. Uh, so that's really cool how we get a classic space flag with this guy as well. You'd probably want to feel for the flag and uh, for the bar and the air tanks. All right. Next we have the cat burglar, and she's got her uh, domino mask on, she's already got a jewel, she's got a grappling hook, she is, she is ready to, uh, to make some money at your expense. <laughs> uh, she's also got the cool hair, and great printed torso for a uh, heist, so she looks great. Uh, you'd probably want to feel for the hook and maybe the jewel when you're looking for her. Here we have the uh, tribal lady. She's got a baby and uh, the feathers in her hair. She's hanging around the village. And you can put the baby on her back. There you go. Look how happy he is. <laughs> so that's great. And then uh, you'd want to feel for the baby and the feathers and probably the hair too. Nothing else really uh, hangs down like that does. All right. Oh, and double printing on the legs too. Look at that. All righty. Next we've got a wrestler and he's looking pretty fierce despite probably just winning something. He's got the belt, he's got the trophy, uh, and he is just, just always down for action. So, double, uh, let's see, got some details on the back there as well with the double printed on the legs. You got the mullet hair, that's pretty funny. So, yeah, he, he just, he, he's the entertainer. Oh, and printing on the arms too. So, you probably want to feel for the trophy and uh, confirm with the hair. And also, he doesn't have too much else. So if you don't feel anything else, then you probably have him. Here we have a queen to go along with the king from a couple series ago. And she is the only one that doesn't have um, legs. Well, we'll get to that in the next. The fawn doesn't either. She here has a dress, which is a new piece, which is a... Uh, a big slope piece, which then uh, has some minifig leg pegs on the top there. And then she also comes with two, two pieces of fabric, one for her cape, gown, um, robe, and then one for the, uh, the puff on top there. And uh, she has her hair, and she has a crown, and she's wearing a smile. So feel for the dress. So that's going to give her away the most. Here's one of my favorites. The fawn. He has the uh, digigrade legs. Which really clever on Lego to do this. With the uh, extra legs there. Uh, different, different types of legs. Uh, don't go forward too much, but they do come back a lot. He's got the uh, the horns in his hair, and he's got a smile, and he has a flute. So he is just there to entertain all the guests he gets to his fantasy realm. You probably want to feel for the legs or the hair, uh, the ears stick out. Uh, and the flute is a small, is three, three length peg there. Yeah, all right, we have the knight. And we've had a couple knights before. 
This guy is a little angrier. He's probably a, a bad guy knight. Um, or at least uh, with a very fierce uh, kingdom. But he is well armored. He's got his bear shield and uh, some shoulder armor and then the mace. And as you can see on his torso, he's got uh, a lot of chain mail and robes there as well. Double molded legs, excellent, and some, uh, some detailed on his arms as well. Uh, as I said, he looks pretty fierce. Got a two sticking out. And a nifty helmet and a plume. And then the mace here is a new mold. See that? That uh, looks almost like a thorn axe, really. Uh, and that just goes into the number three peg. There we go. So he's ready for battle. And finally, we have the kendo fighter. He comes with two swords, uh, not an extra one. He actually has two on the package there. Uh, so he's ready to fence or to fight uh, for honor, what have you. Got some armor right there on his chest and tan ninja swords, katanas. I don't think we've seen those before like that. And then we got the, uh, the head helmet guard here. There we go. So you'd probably want to feel for the swords and the helmet. Oh, did I mention the, the knight? Probably want to feel for the shield and the mace and the helmet. All right, so those are the minifigs. Uh, of course, they, uh, they all come with a stand, so they can st uh, you can stand them on your shelf, look all nice, they won't fall over. And they also come with a digital code to use online on the lego.com uh, minifig game. So that's pretty cool too. Now, uh, if you want to win a full set for yourself, be sure to uh, like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment. And then we'll raffle off a set in about a week of all 16. Best of luck to that. Um, it's a big variety of things. I don't know if I can give any pros or cons. Uh, pros, we get a bunch of cool things. Everyone loves the shark guy. Everyone uh, loves some of these armored people. The space guy is always popular. Getting some animals are great. Uh, Lego has a really good variety this time around. Uh, it's nothing really to complain about. Uh, and they're all awesome, depending on what you like to collect. Uh, be sure to visit BZ Power for a full review for the text, for some pictures, all that good stuff. Visit us for more set reviews, for Lego news, forums, discussions, contests, all that good stuff. And follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, and follow us here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. This is Chocolate Frog signing off.